Hello friends and welcome back to the 14th part of this series where we'll be creating a chat app using Flutterflow and Superbase. For this video, we'll be dealing with the functionality to allow the user to upload an image in the message group chat over here. By pressing on this plus button, the user will be able to select an image and the image will be shown as a message over here. Alright, so let's first move to our Flutterflow dashboard and let's go to the widget tree and we'll just go to our chat page over here. So this was where we left off in the previous video. Let's turn on the visibility for the if condition over here. And this is our current chat bubble message. So we want to add an option to allow the user to upload an image and also show the image in our chat bubble. So what we want to do is that in our column over here, we want to add another widget and this time it will be an image widget. So this will be the image over here and we want to bring it up all the way to the top above this message text but below this name over here. Alright, cool. We can scroll down over here and let's add the function to up allow the user to upload an image. So we open the action flow editor for the plus icon and on the on tap action, we will search for upload and we'll choose the upload slash save media action. For the upload type, it'll be super base. And we also have to create a new bucket to store our uploaded images in super base. So moving over to super base, we'll go to storage and we'll create a new bucket called messages. This will be a public bucket so that role level security is disabled and anyone can access it. And inside the messages bucket, we'll create a new folder. And let's just name it pictures. And we can go to policies and we'll create a new policy for our newly created messages bucket. You can click on for full customization. The policy name will just be allow full access. We'll choose all for select, insert, update and delete. And we'll just click review and we'll click on save policy. So this should allow full access to our messages bucket over here. So going back to our flutter flow for our bucket name is messages and for our folder path, it will be pictures. And after the image has been uploaded, we want to add another action, which is to insert a new row into Superbase. So for the table, it will be the messages table. And for the fields, we will need to set some fields. The first field that we want to set is our sender ID. And for our sender ID, it will be the authenticated user's user ID. The second field that we want to set is our recipient ID. And for this recipient ID, it will be the page parameters chat ID. And for our message text, we actually don't have any message text. So instead of a message text, we actually want to go back to our super base table. And we want to create a new row in our super base table. So we want to create a new row, a new column, sorry. And this column will be image path. So the type will be of type text and we can save this. So this will hold the image path to our uploaded image. So we first close that and whenever we edit our Superbase table, we need to remember to go to settings and integrations and under Superbase, we need to get schema once again. So we go back to our action flow editor and in our insert row action, instead of message text, now we want to set our image path to our widget state and uploaded file URL. So now we can close this. And now for this image over here, we want to assign the image path 
as our messages row and it will be the image path over here. So one more thing that you have to note is that for some messages, the user may not upload an image. And so this image path has a high chance of being a null value or an empty path, which will cause a null value error. So to solve that, we can change the conditional visibility of this image to be a certain condition. So we can add one more column inside our super base table. And this column can contain a Boolean variable of whether the message contains an image or not. So we can type is image and this will be of type Boolean. We don't want this to be nullable since it's either true or false. We can give it a default variable of false since most of the time the messages are not images. So you can click on save and they are all false for now. So going back to our Flutter Flow project, since we added a new column, we want to have to go back to settings and integrations and under Superbase, we'll get schema once more. And now for our image, we toggle the conditional visibility to be true. And for this condition, we want to search for our messages row and we will choose the is image condition. One more thing that we have to do is that we actually have to set the is image condition, the is image boolean variable to be true whenever we upload an image. So whenever we insert a row by pressing on the plus icon over here, we need to add one more field. And this time we need to set the is image field over here to be true instead of false, the default variable. So now we can close this and that should wrap it up for this image over here. Now we also have to copy and paste this image widget into our else state, uh, else portion of this message over here. This is when others send you a message. So we'll paste this under this column over here. So we'll just paste this and we'll move the image above here. And one more thing I realized also is that this message text, whenever we upload an image, this message text will be null and it may also cause a null value error. So we also have to give this message text a conditional visibility as well. And for this, it will be the messages row is image. But for this, we have to apply the opposite statement because Whenever it is not an image, then we want to show. So whenever is image is false, then we want to show the message text over here. So we'll apply the opposite statement to this one. And we do the same thing for the other part of the conditional builder. So for this, we go to this message text and we want to apply some conditional visibility. And for the condition, it will be under messages row is image, but we need to click on it again and apply the opposite statement. And finally, one more thing that we have to add is that for this plus icon over here, after we inserted a new row into our Superbase database, we have to refresh our database request on our list view so that it, so that the new image, the new message appears on our UI for our user. So we have to add one last action and this will be to refresh our database request. For the widget selected, it will be the list view. And we'll just close this for now. Okay, so that about wraps it up. And now we can test it out. All right, so test is just loaded up. Let's try sending a new message. So let's try pressing on this plus icon. And we can see, you can see that we can select an image from our gallery. Let's just choose this Apple image. And you can see that a new Apple image was sent over here. If we try searching some, if we try sending a normal message instead, you can see that a normal message was sent just like this. All right, so this wraps it up for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from today's video. In the next video, we'll be dealing with our group as well as contact 
description pages. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you and goodbye.